Oh hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how can the satellite images be interpreted and used so now let's get started so we are now at uh, a very important stage in this course so in our previous video we have learned about how the sensors are used to record images so we have learned about the nature of the reflected sunlight and earth uh, th thermal emission as a source of earth data so we have noted how the atmosphere affects the transmission of radiation from the sun to the surface into the sensor and uh, how we can uh, correct for the image errors in brightness and geometry effectively that means uh, we are now at the stage of having an acquired a good quality data ready for the analysis so there are two very broad approaches uh, that can be taken when endeavoring to interpret the images recorded by the remote sensing platform so the first approach that involves uh, a human expert doing most of the work in that case the approach to the image understanding is called as photo interpretation a person skilled at uh, interpreting an image visually is called as a photo interpreter and the process overall is called as photo interpretation so this is a long standing method for interpreting the images that uh, goes back to the days of uh, photo interpretation the analyst uh, builds up a substantial knowledge of how to look at various the clues uh, in an image in order to extract a meaningful information so the second approach that involves extensive use of computer algorithms to undertake the analysis uh, this approach is often referred to as a quantitative analysis so the second uh, approach which is uh, much more uh, recent it involves uh, the use of sophisticated computer algorithms to help undertake an analysis a human still involved but their skills are more uh, in knowing how to get the best results out of the computer based approach than being able to interpret the image themselves when a computer is uh, or involved in the interpretation process the approach goes by a number of names uh, including the quantitative uh, analysis or uh, classification or machine learning more recently the artificial intelligence method have been uh, contemplated for the remote sensing uh, image analysis so we will say something about it uh, that later in our uh, course so we will now examine both the photo interpretation and the quantitative analysis in general terms but the major uh, emphasis of the reminder of this course is on the computer approach so now let's start with the photo interpretation so uh, photo interpretation a skilled photo interpreter analyzes the content of an image by inspecting the color image product composed from the recorded image bands sometimes the photo interpreter works with an individual bands displayed in black and white form so a skilled analyst work for the color image product composed uh, from the recorded uh, image bands or sometimes uh, with the individual bands themselves displayed as a black and white so irrespective of the type of imagery used the analyst makes uh, us of uh, makes use of the color shape size and the proximity information in seeking to understand what was on the earth surface when the imaging occurred changes with the time from one image to another in a co-registered set also offers a clues to the photo interpreter in trying to identify the image features so irrespective of whether the black and white or the color imagery is used the analyst makes uh, use of the color or the relative difference in brightness from band to band and the relationship between the objects and the pixels in order to carry out the interpretation so the changes uh, with time of the features from uh, one image to another in a co-registered set are also important clues for the photo interpreter because uh, an analyst uh, relies on the understanding the brightness and color it is uh, important that uh, we know how the color image products are formed if uh, we want to appreciate the nature of the products uh, with which a photo interpreter works so the forms of imagery is for photo interpretation to form a color image the analyst has to choose just three of the recorded image bands to display on the three color primaries for example so you can choose blue green and red so on the color display or uh, when producing a hot copy of the photographic product so this is of a color imagery this is of bands x 
and band Y and band Z. So you can select the band X as red and band Y as green and band Z as blue. So as you probably appreciate from your own knowledge of digital photography or the color television, a color image is uh, made up of uh, three, uh, three uh, black and white images displayed on each of the three primary adjective colors of uh, blue, green and red. So keep in mind that an individual band of uh, image data is always represented from black to white that is the lowest brightness to the highest brightness. Even through uh, it might represent the same the reflectance of the earth's surface in uh, the red uh, wavelength range for an example seen through a red filter. A challenge uh, in remote sensing is to know which bands to display in which color. So we only have uh, three display colors uh, but we could have uh, tens or hundreds of bands of images. The data from which to choose. We illustrate in this slide uh, three different colors uh, images formed from uh, different uh, bands combinations uh, using the data recorded by high, uh, the hyperspectral uh, sensor. You can able to see this uh, color image here. So one is of natural color, color infrared and mid and near uh, IR composite. IR here represents the infrared. So uh, remember you have to choose uh, which bands to display in each of the color range of the red green and blue color uh, primaries. So on the left hand uh, column of the images we have to choose uh, a recorded uh, so we have chosen a recorded uh, visible red band to display as a uh, red and a visible uh, green band to display as a green and the visible uh, blue band to display as a blue. The result is a natural color image where the vegetation appears green so you can able to see from this image natural color and uh, the urban and other developed service takes on a brownish or a slightly a bluish appearance. You can able to see from this image here the color natural color. So in the center uh, column we have created uh, what commonly called as the color infrared image. It is uh, based upon the choice of the band uh, along used uh, in the color infrared aerial photography. So here the near infrared band is displayed as red, a visible uh, red band is displayed as a green and uh, visible uh, green band is displayed as a blue. Although uh, this sounds unusual, it gives a very rich color product in which the healthy uh, vegetation have a higher near infrared response shows as a red here and uh, a bare the bare uh, region shows the shadow of uh, blue, green, the clear water is generally displayed as a black you can able to see here. So in the right hand column we show a color image product made from uh, a set of uh, infrared bands as seen in the color uh, the color image there is fairly a good uh, differentiation of uh, the different cover tops often uh, an analyst will experiment with the bands to display guided by their the knowledge of the spectral reflectance characteristics of the earth's surface the covered uh, tops of the interest in a particular interpretation exercise So uh, are there any uh, conventions observed when forming a color image products? Well the only real conventions uh, is that the bands are displayed in the same order of uh, wavelength as the primary display colors. Therefore the recorded bands with the longest uh, wavelength is shown as red and uh, therefore the shortest uh, wavelength is shown as blue. So interpreting the color infrared imagery. So once we form the color image product, we have to work out how to interpret it. That requires the reference back to the spectral reflectance characteristics of the different earth surface uh, cover tops present in an image. So uh, on this slide, we have uh, shown uh, where there is uh, there uh, three bands like green, red and blue. So the three bands are the green, red and the near infrared. So we have three bands, first is a green followed by red and the third is infrared that is uh, near infrared. So in this image you can observe, you can able to observe that uh, we have three bands, uh, band 6 represents green and band 15 here represents red and band 29 represents the near infrared. So these uh, three bands are uh, located on the reflectance uh, spectra here you can able to observe. 
so when combined into a, a colored infrared composite the vegetation appears as red the soil and the urban regions appears as a blue and uh, green so the soil and urban area appears as a blue and uh, green you can able to see from this image the water will appear as a uh, bluish black depending uh, on its depth and turbidity there is uh, however an intervening step which you may have uh, picked up by a careful examination of uh, examination of the spectral reflectance curve the spectral reflectance curve and the color uh, infrared product so uh, from the spectral uh, curves al alone it looks like all the cover tops uh, could be uh, should be predominantly of uh, reddish indeed uh, if the composite were formed from the raw data recorded by the platform that will be the case in practice however we undertake what is called a, a contrast uh, enhancement step in order to get the color product shown on the bottom uh, right side uh, right hand side of the slide here so we will see how to do uh, that in our next video in the early days of the remote sensing uh, with the instruments uh, only had uh, three or four uh, wave bands the selection of uh, which three to use uh, when forming a color composite product was uh, quite straightforward however with the modern instrumentation uh, the analyst is faced with a more complicated task uh, to choose the bands to display in some way uh, this plays uh, more uh, dependence on the analyst uh, knowledge of the spectral characteristics of the same uh, property of interest so the key points that is covered in this video interpreting the imagery visually by the technique called photo interpretation requires a, a image product to inspect since only three color primaries can be used to form a display the user has to select the best three bands for this purpose almost uh, natural color images can be produced by using the bands recorded in uh, blue green and uh, red wave uh, wavelength uh, ranges a common and very useful color image is called color infrared it uh, emulates the use of color infrared film from uh, early days of remote sensing and photogrammetry a near infrared band uh, is displayed as red as a red recorded band is displayed as a green and the green recorded band is uh, displayed as blue all through were not uh, treated here most recorded image will be uh, dominated by a reddish hues that can uh, be appreciated by looking at the spectral reflectance cover types uh, in which both the vegetated and uh, bare soil surfaces have a high uh, near infrared reflectance an image is usually contrast enhanced uh, beforehand so that the soil etc takes a uh, blue uh, green color so in this video I have uh, shown you how can the satellite images interpreted and used and uh, please follow us for our upcoming videos make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching